example. The campaign focuses on enhancing positive national discourse and creating an integrity conscious society. Philanthropist Manu Chandaria, who had attended the event, lauded the initiative, urging Kenyans to shun tribalism and instead embrace positivity, kindness and hard work, which will help build the country. Change starts with you. And start behaving in a changed manner. Say hello, <laughs> rather than ignore people and just pass by as one passenger to another passenger. No, you're all Kenyans. At the end of the day, you've got some roots which are common. Meanwhile, Complete Kenya and Next World Now have partnered with the national government to boost digital literacy in Nyamira. The two organizations are providing resources for the construction and equipping of the laboratories in various villages where locals will get basic computer skills for free. And tension is high at the Kitui Tana River border following the alleged killing of two people by a known assailants in a suspected border row over resources. Residents of Gadungu village in Mwingi East sub-county claim the two attacked while on their farms. They are now calling on security agents to beef up security and intervene in fear of retaliatory attacks. Since we have been here, the government is going to be able to get out of here. Yes! 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 Elsewhere, the National Cohesion and Integration Commission is warning of tension building up in counties ahead of the 2017 general election. The Francis Ole Caparo led commission says the contest for the gubernatorial seat will turn bloody if urgent measures are not put in place to deter aspirants from arming their supporters. And MCS will be the hottest contested seats, no doubt about that thing. Meaning that we will be having possibility of having conflict within the counties is, is very, very great. Finally, leaders in Pokot County are calling on the security agencies to be on high alert, following claims that some proponents of female circumcision were preparing a group of young girls for the cut. Speaking during the graduation of 160 girls who underwent an alternative rite of passage, the leaders said that the community should be sensitized to adopt such alternatives instead of dwelling on the retrogressive practice of FGM. <laughs>